Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and today we're going to show you how to do a Bailey comb exchange moving bees from a national brood body into a commercial brood body. So we removed the lid and uh, this is an old feeder tub that we had some food on the hive. You can see the bees have made some comb here. Just give them a little bit of smoke. And we're going to remove the crime board. And then the first task is to just check the colony and as we go see if we can find the queen. We look on the underside of the crime board for the queen. No sign of her there. So this national brood body has 12 frames, 11 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 frames. And to make it easy to get the first frame out, I like to use the J tool. And we just simply pop it in at the side and use it to lever up the frame. And then come across to the other side and do the same here. And then very gently ease that frame out of the colony. And that's our first frame, which we'll just lay on top of the bees, just to cover the frames that are exposed. And now I switch to a more traditional hive tool. And so you can possibly see that there are eggs in this frame, so we're immediately into a brood nest. So the queen could be somewhere around on these frames. So in doing a Bailey comb exchange it's important to find the queen so that we can move her into the upper brood body that we want to use as the replacement. And the reason we're doing this is because we're transferring the bees onto commercial brood frames rather than national brood frames. Again there are eggs in this frame. Okay and here's the queen. So on the second frame we've been able to successfully find the queen. So what we need to do now is to make sure that she goes into the commercial brood box. We've got our queen excluder ready to separate her from the bottom box. And we place the queen into the middle of the commercial brood body on the existing frame. Now although that's a national frame, once the bees have drawn these frames we can remove that by edging it towards the side of the brood box and then later in the season we can take that out completely and replace it with a normal sized commercial frame. So now we can pop this frame back in. Just remove some of this brace cane. And just smoke the bees off the wax so we don't kill any. And then we can simply scrape off the wax 
to make it easier for us to inspect next time. As we place the queen excluder on. And then the brood box with the queen in place goes on top. Nicely in the middle. We simply replace these two frames. And the bees will now come up to find their queen and will start to build the brood frames on either side of the frame that she's on in order to give her cells to be able to lay eggs in. And what we're going to do next is to just add a feeder with some sugar syrup so that she can hopefully have her workers produce lots of wax and within a short space of time com completely draw all of the foundation uh, with new cells. using a large rapid feeder and this is simply a plastic feeder with a lid and the bees will come up through the entrances over the side and then take the sugar syrup from the container so I'll just pop some sugar syrup in there the lid on making sure that it's secure all the way around yeah. and we just pop that on the top and then we can pop the roof back on and leave the bees to carry on their business Thank you.